Aloha kako. I'm Chef Gooch and you're watching KTA Kitchens. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite desserts. It's a Big Island Lime Tart. We're really lucky here in Hawaii. We have all kinds of citrus. We have Meyer lemons, calamansis. These are some beautiful Tahitian limes that come from uh, Mokuokiawe, from the Big Island. First we have two pre-baked pie crusts, two cans of sweetened condensed milk, six ounces of egg yolks. Remember, one egg yolk is about half an ounce. Eight ounces of fresh lime juice, and then two limes zested and juiced. When I was cooking in New York, this recipe was inspired by a chef that I worked for, Chef Higgins. Uh, he's one of those guys that kind of inspired in us the best way to make a dish, and also the smartest way to make a dish. This guy has one, two, three, four ingredients is all there is to it, it's really simple. First we're gonna get our sweetened condensed milk that we got in here. We have our egg yolks. Remember now, one egg yolk is about half an ounce, roughly. So if you don't have a scale on you, you can very easily just go with a dozen eggs and you're fine. Fresh squeezed lime juice. As well as the juice from two limes. We're also gonna zest. The zest brings a slight depth to uh, what it is that we're doing. It brings so this raw, citrusy oiliness to it. Okay. So once you got that, go ahead and you mix it well, incorporate it. At this time, don't forget now, our oven has been preheated to 300 degrees. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it through a colander. You just pour it through a colander into another bowl. What that's gonna do is it's gonna catch any of those, the white albumin parts of the egg in case. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and strain it. So it's gonna go in, strain it through, get into a pie crust, into the oven. That's all there is. All right, so into your pre-baked pie crust is gonna go. Now remember, don't fill it up all the way to the top. You wanna give a little bit of lip around the rim so that it's gonna spring a little bit. You don't want to overflow. This is gonna fit, and this is enough filling for two pies. So right about there is about a quarter inch, about actually a half inch. It's about a half inch to the top. All right, that's it. Carefully, we're gonna place it inside of our 300 degree oven. We're gonna check it for about half an hour to 45 minutes, depending from oven to oven. Right about the 30 minute mark, once again, you get a, you know, you get a hashi or a barbecue steak. And you're gonna poke it, ooh, and make sure that it uh, comes out smooth. So it's been about 30 minutes. We checked it with a hashi, it came out nice and clean. So just pull it out, leave it off to the side, and we're gonna let it cool. Careful, it's really hot. But you could actually take a look and you're gonna notice that it actually did spring up, spring up just a little bit. So at this point, you can put it off to the side, you can get a frosting red together. Personally, I like a real fresh, you know, not too sweet whipped cream. So I really like to drink nice late season ice wine. It goes really well with the pie here. You got something real sweet, real kind of big and in your face and in your mouth. It just gets all over. It goes really nice well with this kind of a lighter, citrusy pie. Okay. Let's cut it. Anybody have a hard time cutting a pie into even, uh, even pieces like I do? Here's a trick. What you do first is you go ahead and you just score your pie. Make your lines. Take that knife across. Like so. And then you want to have a wet towel handy nearby. And every time you cut, you're gonna wipe your knife. Wipe your knife. Nice dose of whipped cream. And then, I like to finish it 
with a little more zest. There you have it. Ice wine, big island lime tart. So how does it taste? You got that cookie. You got the acidity. Sweet and condensed milk obviously gives it the sugar, rounds it out. And then you have almost this, this um, dark, porty ice wine flavor and finish. So it's good. It's real good. Hmm. Yep. Can't go wrong. So once again, I'm Chef Gooch, and mahalo for watching KTA Kitchens.